Hello everybody, welcome to For My Daughter, I even defeated Demon Lord, episode 11, anime review. Uh, so we never really got a, a that, my biggest problem with this show is that we haven't really ever got a plot going other than Cute Demon Girl, which is fine, that's the type of show this is, but the, they mentioned a Demon Lord in the title. I, I wanted to see a Demon Lord, is that, is that so wrong? But no, this was still enjoyable, you know, it was the slice of life shenanigans we liked, there was cats, there was definitely cats, it was basically the his reunion episode and then there we got cats as well so good stuff somebody told me the finale is obviously going to be the baby and i'm like yeah of course it is i didn't think of that that guy thanks i'm an idiot that's obviously the finale is going to be the baby didn't even think of that but anyway let's just get right on with the episode it's blooming hot in here and let, let's, let's go we open up with latina going back to school meeting up with that girl her name is chloe i remember uh, she made a necklace out of a horn, Rudy helped with it, and I'm like, shouldn't you have asked for permission for that? Also, why do you have the horn? Like, why did you keep hold of it? I mean, it's it's a nice gesture, probably should have asked. Uh, then she starts telling the stories of uh, a time Dale killed some bandits that was cool. He literally, like, just moved the earth down a little bit. Thought that was pretty funny. Um, yeah, Latina's telling the stories. Gives, some, the pre bleh, gives her friends some presents, easy for me to say. Uh, and yeah, everything's going on. Dale's telling the story to Kenneth as well, and he's embarrassed about the charm he made for them, because Latina wanted to make a charm, so he was like, I'll do it, I'm a priest or whatever. It's like a childbirth charm or whatever. Good stuff, Dale. Um, La then we go to the kids eating lunch again. Latina asks why Rudy has her horn. He's got a little necklace as well. He says it's because it's rare, because uh, that's an excuse, because I'm not sure if you're aware of this from watching the show. Rudy likes latina i know shocker crazy scenes who would have thought i uh who could have guessed i had no idea myself um on the way home they see a cat and a, this is where we i guess learn latina she likes cats she likes cats a lot um in the restaurant restaurant bar whatever everyone notices latina's off then she goes to dale she's like dale i want to see a gathering of all the cats and everyone's like that's that's typical kid stuff Jill, Jill, Jill Vester, that's his name, says like, hey, I have a neighbor or whatever who has loads of cats. He also might know Dale's family. The dude, well, we get to him later on. He looks like just like Jill Vester. Was he his cousin or something? I missed the relation. I thought he was just a neighbor. But what do I know? They go to this man's house and there are cats everywhere. Latina's playing with the cats. Uh, then the other two just talk for a lot. They talk about his grandfather. They talk about cultural differences and get Latina to wear a kimono. That was great, I guess. Uh, so is Japan a real thing in this world? Or is it just an equivalent of Japan? Or is it an isekai? But we don't even know Sakai. That's the question. Uh, they're arguing over what colour suits her. Dale's all sad because he's like, she's going to grow up one day. <sighs> That's a theme of this episode. Uh, she wears the kimono and then Dale buys it. The bloke says, hey, in 10 years, you're going to have some sway with changing a church so we can do kimono things. Future seer, I don't know. Uh, she's wearing the kimono when she's waitressing. Dale does more lamenting of how she's going to grow up. He's like, oh man, things are going to change in 10 years. And I'm like, yep, they probably are, aren't they? I've seen the light novel covers. Yep, they probably are going to change in 10 years. Uh, if you haven't seen the light novel covers, if you don't want spoilers, don't look. But if you, if you don't care, look at the covers and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, and then we cut to the little wolves. The little one is bored and wants to go see Latina and the dad wolf just smacks him with his tail. He's like, no, you're too little. Behave. It's, it, it was honestly pretty funny. It made me, gave me quite a chuckle. But that was the end of the episode. We've got an episode left and it's likely going to be the birth of the child, the baby. Um, so yeah, that's to look forward to. We got that. Uh, wish this series would have done more. Like, it has st started to wear thin a little on me with how little actually happens. I'm still enjoying it. But I, I do kind of wish they did more with it. Um, but yeah, I can't think of anything else to say. These reviews are getting shorter. That's because not a lot really happens in this show. But it's still enjoyable. I think that's a good way to sum up this show. Not a lot happens really. But somehow it's not completely boring. It's still, in, it's still enjoyable enough. Uh, but anyway, let me know what you thought about the episode and everything. Uh, subscribe and stuff for more reviews. There's another channel I have as well where I do scripted stuff. Check that out too. Uh, I will see you next week, and bye guys.